Okay, yeah. It's already 5 o'clock. Actually, just now I finished the laundry. I wash almost everything except this. Actually, this one, uh, according to the people, they not really need to wash every use. And still, I am doing this. This actually the other uh, window. Good morning guys. Yeah, this is actually where I sleep last night. <laughs> Yeah, this was one of the good thing about this bun. I have this uh, kettle where I can uh, boil water. I have a fridge where I can keep my food. And I always have this uh, now. I also have a sleeping bag, but I also have this uh, kind of blanket, a uh, comporter. And I have this pillow. Yeah, so it means that I can stop anywhere, anytime, I mean just anywhere that is possible, that is allowed <laughs> in the car park and I can sleep. I basically record a night lapse and that was my first time to record a night lapse. I'm not really sure about the quality but when I check it on the GoPro, yeah, it was uh, like a morning but it is actually recorded in the night. Yeah, it was full moon last night, but yeah, it was very bright. It's like a daytime, but you're going to see the stars. And I am now here in the house. Yeah, I am basically just going to cook something to eat. Actually, I just cooked the rice and I put the egg and this it is actually already 11 o'clock and another reason why i come back home is this to get yeah i forgot to get this we're back here in the park but yeah there is another car on my spot <laughs> it's all right we can park anywhere and at the moment this is how it is yeah there's a couple there they are just having a good life with their dog nice so basically i was just uh, inside editing a video uh, browsing the internet yeah and this is how it is here the sun is uh, about to get down and there are some people here walking their dogs family they are more on that side and we try to walk on that side oh <laughs> it's sudden uh, drop the sand here in nelson bay is um, white compared to those in uh, newcastle area in uh, wulonggong area yeah here is more uh, blacky white in newcastle in wulonggong area they are uh, brown it's not easy to be me away, away from me so during high tide the water is actually reaching these uh, rocks so you can't really walk in here and it's not easy to be me and if you are coming here in Nelson Bay oh yeah nice and if you want to stay in a nice place yeah this area is beautiful and you can actually see some of the accommodation at the winnings winnings.com.au if I'm not mistaken I miss walking here with my bike or riding the bike yeah <laughs> beautiful Look at that, the water, the water is uh, very calm. Looks like it is uh, very good to do some kayak or paddleboard. But actually, if you get inside in the water, 
it is a, a little wavy yeah i realized that before when we did the kayak when me and Nego did the kayak in taylor's beach and also when uh, kenneth and family come here in uh, nelson bay and did the kayak on that side yes you will really notice the waves okay that's it we are going back to the car and going home actually we go first to the grocery to buy something look at that too much sand and we are now here in the grocery and uh, yeah as i was driving here i almost have a uh, small accident yeah so basically in the roundabout yeah i didn't see the car coming from the right yeah because of this because of this so basically i initially look at the from the direction of the vehicle but i didn't see so i continue and then i just realized that the car is already in front of me yeah it's in the roundabout good thing i see it and so i stop right away also good thing is roundabout is a slow moving vehicle yeah thank you yeah thank you nothing but happens and the girl actually stays for a little bit more i said sorry sorry and then she left oh it's almost uh, actually finished nice i don't see any more uh yeah one dozen of donuts the small small donuts the three dollars i don't see it anymore i'm going to buy uh this one butter chicken sauce regular price is 570 just uh, 285 now yeah butter chicken what else i take two this is also butter chicken but four dollars and this one is, looks like a natural one even comes with the spices five dollars ninety should i take this one yeah not today maybe next time oh maybe i'll take just one of these and then that one oh no next time yeah indian food is uh, delicious when i was in dubai we have a cafeteria free food uh, there are lots of uh, indian food but yeah and i didn't like i never liked because uh, it, not, it is not enticing but those uh, in the restaurant because we also have Indian restaurant in uh, Burj Khalifa in Armani Hotel yeah when I taste their food during uh, yeah when we have uh, like a function I eat sometimes and it's delicious but not that one from a cafeteria I'm also getting this this is just uh, two dollars forty yeah will expire today yeah chicken chicken shawarma oh i think i still have potato in the house i'm not sure i like it instead i'm going to buy this uh yeah onion this uh three dollars twenty i already uh, have uh, ten dollars on my rewards cards hey the lady is asking if i want to collect it but i said no i'll collect that next time there is a bun that just parked next to me her bun is uh, good but old so it's classic <laughs> yeah i carry everything my mug the chicken the curry and uh, the butter chicken oh yeah i still have uh, some potato actually just uh, four pieces i'm going to cook it now let's open this still uh, bright outside the cooking procedure is actually very easy i basically i need the chicken which i have this one and yeah that's it there is just an optional uh, cream yeah i don't have cream basically cook the chicken and add this but i'm going to put some uh, potato this chopping board is just for uh, vegetable and cooked food 
if you notice i'm not using it for uh, meat yeah this chicken the regular price it's 12 dollars and now it's just uh, two dollars 40. and this is already marinated for uh, shawarma actually it's ready i don't need to cut When I was in Dubai, I was also making a uh, shawarma. The marination of the shawarma, we usually we use a yogurt mixed with uh, different herbs and different spices until we get this uh, texture. It was a uh, ragab, Muhammad, who else? Yeah, some Egyptian guy and some uh, Indian guy, Arabic chef. Chefs actually are the one who teach me to do those things but i never really applied to do that in the house yeah i just do all the things that i learn in the kitchen in the kitchen in the restaurant but not in the house i put some water to really cook the chicken and the potato this is going to be my meal in the coming week <laughs> and egg so alternate this eggs mm -hmm. 